I do have one very serious question left to ask. Is that okay? Certainly. Awesome! Gabriel Wong, are you prepared to take the zombie inspiration fast question challenge? Oh, are you sure? Do I have to? Look, you don't have to, but it would be really cool. Oh, okay. I will. We'll try. Yes! That's the confident spirit I like. Now, Gabriel Wong, here is your zombie inspiration fast question challenge. Question one. Do you have a plan in place for the zombie apocalypse? Oh, how amazing! What a coincidence! Yes. Um, you know, I'm working on a zombie book at the moment. Oh, really? And it's called, it's a Chinese cookbook. Yeah. 63 Ways to Stir Fry Zombie Brains. <laughs> it's going to be out next year, published by Gruesome oh, Press. Oh, man. And, um, you know, just wait for it, Adam. I'm sure you'll, be, you'll love it. Well, don't, don't, if don't, you're still around at that time. Yes, if I'm not a brain dead zombie, I'll definitely get a signed copy. Now, if zombies have taken over the world and you're like living in a cave and you can only have three things to take with you, what three things could you not do without? Oh, I definitely couldn't do without my wok. Right. Which I stir fry lots of my dinner in. Food is very important to me. I also couldn't do without my chopsticks. I love yes. my chopsticks. I don't particularly like eating with a knife and fork, so chopsticks. Yep. And definitely my zombie cook brain cookbook. Definitely. <laughs> well, you've got to know what to cook. <laughs> now, zombies have taken over the world, and that, and you are living in that cave, and you can choose three famous people to live with you. What three people would you choose? I would choose Frankenstein. Nice. I would choose Count Dracula. <laughs> and the Incredible Hulk. Yes. Also. Oh. Oh, uh, you'll get just for you. All right, thank you. Now, there's a Greek historian called Herodotus. Okay. And I wouldn't choose him, but I'd choose my dog Hero because his name comes from the Greek historian cool. Herodotus. Because Hero might actually be such a hero that he could save us from the zombie apocalypse. Woo! <laughs> Go Hero! Absolutely. Now, what would smell worse, a zombie or an author working five days straight on a deadline? Well, um, you know, I have smelled an author working <laughs> five days straight on a deadline. Now, I put it to you, Adam, okay. that you go out and smell a zombie and then come back and we can compare notes. How about that? Well, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely do it as soon as we're finished here, okay? I promise. The zombie. Now, would you kiss a zombie? Only on the first date. <laughs> Love it. Now, you have a book called A Ghost in My Suitcase. Have you ever seen a ghost? Um, well, actually, and this is true, yep. dead serious here, I saw the ghost of my dog who, oh. who had just passed away at the time. And, well, I didn't actually see her, but I, yep. I, felt her presence and I felt her saying, oh, you're home, you're home, hello, hello, and jumping around me. And I, I'm sure that was her ghost saying goodbye to me. Yeah, definitely. Look, the same thing happened with my dog Kruger, so I'm just fully getting chills right now. It's kind of, it's awesome. Now, your great-grandfather came to the gold fields in 1853. Have you ever found any gold? I haven't found any gold, but what I did find, which was just as good as gold, yeah. Um, I was in China and I was at the farthest end of the Great Wall of China, the yes. farthest northwest end of the Great Wall of China, and the wind was blowing and the sand was moving under my feet. I saw a coin. Now, Chinese coins are round but they have a square hole in the middle. Okay. And I picked it up and I just got a thrill because. You know, when I was young, I wanted to be an archaeologist when I grew ah, up. Like cool. One of the things I wanted to be. Yeah. So I got this incredible thrill because I thought the last, the people who, who killed, who went through this area was Genghis Khan more than a thousand years ago. And I thought the last person who touched this top coin before I did was a person who lived 1,000 years ago. And that to me was just the most amazing feeling.
Yeah, that is amazing. Wow. Now, speaking of amazing things, rumor has it that you've recently discovered you have a long lost twin you have an amazing amount in common with. Is this true? Well, I'm not sure yet. Let me just test it. Okay. Okay. Adam, do you like walking in the rain? I do like walking in the rain. Do you like walking in the rain? I do like walking in the rain. Now, Adam, another question. Yes. Do you like singing under the rainbow? I love singing under the rainbow. Do you love singing under the rainbow? I do. Um, and Adam, do you like screaming as loud as you can when you're in the desert? Yes, I love screaming when I'm in the desert. Wow. Adam, you are my long lost twin. Oh, it's it. We We're found each twin other twin at last. Now. Oh, that is so cool. Now, I have two more questions. Sure. So, if a zombie was about to bite your face off, what would your last words be? Your shoelace is untied. <laughs> I love it. Finally, Gabrielle Wong, can you please give us your very best zombie impersonation? Well, I won't do one once I've changed into a zombie. Okay. But I'll do an impersonation just before the point that I change into a zombie. Interesting. Okay. Ready? okay. It's perfect, it's perfect. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us on Keep on working hard, stay safe, stay hard hero, and good luck. Thanks Adam, long last twin. <laughs>